Uh, my name is Leslie Shows, and I live in San Francisco. I'm not too far from Yerba Buena, actually. I guess I would say that my work always ends up operating on a lot of different levels at one time, and there's a lot of different layers of meaning um, that are all kind of braided together, so I can come at it from a few different angles. On one level, it's about loosening up the um, modes of visual communication that um, happen in something like a flag. So a flag is a marker for um, either like a physical zone or an ideological zone, just a zone of some kind. And I, I have all types of flags in this piece from uh, from used car lot banners and the little, the little safety do not walk flags that you see on the ground in national parks to, uh, to um, sort of heraldic flags from the Middle Ages and uh, the more like United Nations flags. So there are different formations, and, but all the flags are white. So there's, um, there's shape and size that signifies something. And then there's also color that signifies something in a flag. And there's also symbol or imagery. So I'm separating those things out from each other and um, letting them kind of be themselves, which also loosens their function a little bit and lets them possibly become something else or become something new or lets you see them in a different way. Um, but on another level, it's also about the processes of geology and the, the, the way that matter behaves, not only how the paint behaves running down the wall and how it um, sort of mixes and muddies at the bottom, uh, which I feel like happens in all spheres of reality, not just with rocks and, uh, not just with rocks and um, happens with paint, but it also, ha I think, happens with language. Like things get sorted and stratified and um, remixed and meshed together. So I got the idea all at once. It's just something I was thinking about for a while is how a color palette can signify something. Like one color is just, you get this phenomenological hit of this color. But if you have, let's say you have red, yellow, and green together, all of a sudden that means something cultural or it just means something. It, it starts to mean. And uh, I think that's, that's interesting. So um, I wanted to play with that. I've always been interested in flags. Um, it just, it was something I wanted to see. I was like, I, that's something I want to see it ha in real life, and I, I guess I have to make it. Um, so it's been a long process of research and planning, and not only the materials, but the symbols, like researching flags and heraldry, and um, that's been really fun. And then we've been just pouring paint down huge sheets of paper from the lift using paint cans. Which is cool. I've n I haven't touched brush to paper once. It's really nice. I don't have to. It's not about me painting a picture of something. It's about the paint painting itself. And then um, I kind of it's like I'm collaborating with it in a certain way. The reason that I have uh, I've put flags and colors with the, this thing that's supposed to look kind of like a geological rock wall is because I see it as two different time scales nested within each other. So there's geological time. You know, when you look up in a big, at a big rock wall, there's a sense of geological time, like millions of years, something has been formed. And, you know, the, the water stains that have drift down, have, have, it's water that's, you know, um, maybe seeping out of the rock from millions of years ago. And then you have the history of human civilization, which is a few thousand years old, which is a completely different time scale which we could either be very long or very short, depending on where your, what your vantage point is. If you're coming from a sense of geological time, it's much shorter. But from a lifetime, it's very long. Human civilization is very long. So I like, my work is a lot about scale, size scale and time scale. So that, I think, is the main, um, that's sort of one of the main points of this piece, I would say.